Captain Frank. These two armies are just lined up in the field together. Looks cool. Shoulder to shoulder. It looks like there's a whole lot more Union than there are Confederate, but they've got roughly the same numbers. Are we missing a unit somewhere? Looks like one of the Confederate units are not here. No, they got two flags here. I guess they are. Let's get a screenshot of this. Excellent. Get one of the uh, Union boys all lined up. There we go. Say cheese, boys. And we'll get one of the Confederates lined up as well. There we go. Here, marching orders. Oh, look, the flags are coming in. Oh, this is cool. That was cool. Sorry, I'm just screenshotting the hell out of this. This is a cool moment. It's very cool. So we got. Try to get this shot framed here. We have gathered here today not only to commemorate a battle, but also its victims. 156, 156 years ago, for three days in July, one of the bloodiest and most famous battles of the Civil War raged in the rolling hills of Pennsylvania, around a small town of Gettysburg whose inhibitions bore witness to the savagery of conflict and at their own doorstep. For three long and miserable days, soldiers clad in blue and grey fought each other over a spot of the map most of them had never heard or thought of before, many of whom would never leave the fields and orchards of this once so quiet town ever again. Most of those who survived would not live to see the end of this war. Yet, it was not only Americans who fought, bled and suffered through this conflict. Hundreds of thousands of immigrants from Europe served their adopted land dutifully, with faith and courage. The Irish, driven away from their island home through tyranny and starvation. The Germans, 
seeking freedom from monarchy and tyranny after the revolution of 1848, the Czechs, Italians, Scots and many other people and cultures uh, that sought a better future in the new world. But what did they find instead of the promised land? A divided country and the process of being torn apart through an armed conflict. Many utilized this newly gained freedom to stand up for their political beliefs and causes, choosing to pledge themselves to the either the Confederacy or the Union in the unavoidable conflict. They were determined to defend their newly gained political freedom with their lives. At the breakout of the war, hundreds of thousands of European immigrants answered the call to arms and their of their adopted land, not only to stand up for their political beliefs, but also to prove themselves worthy of their state and country, as foreigners did not have it easy in the new world. Nonetheless, when their states called for their aid, they marched and fought shoulder to shoulder with their American neighbors. Both in the north and the south, they marched off into war to fight for liberty, acknowledgement and respect. But for most of them, death was the only thing they found. The war had raged on for two, for two years already, deeply dividing the country on which many immigrants had placed all their life, all their hopes for a better life. At Gettysburg, another bloody battle was to take place in which the tide of the war would finally turn against the Confederacy. 45,000 men, about one-third of all engaged troops, would perish throughout the battle. To these poor souls who lost their lives at Gettysburg, we dedicate this day. May they find peace, knowing that this day, although the guns have fallen silent long ago, people remember their deeds and sacrifices, commemorate the history of the American Civil War in their honor. The losing of the participating units are reported as follows. 18th North Carolina, 87 lost souls, 52nd New York, 38 lost souls, 8th Alabama, 263 lost souls, 8th Florida, 112 lost souls. May they rest in peace alongside the rest of the 45,000. Battalion, present, armed. Well said, Captain Frank. <clears throat> well said. That was awesome. Well done, all of you. Very well done. It was very cool. Look at these guys all lined up. Shoulder. Are they going to kill each other now? Oh, they're going to salute. 
Nice. Very cool. Now smoke is blowing right at me. Let's see if I can get to the other side. Hopefully they do this again. I forgot I need a shot of someone uh, eating a goober pee. Shoulder. No, missed it. <laughs> I'll get it during the battle. Well, that was very neat, man. Listen, I've been playing this game for a while now, and it's just hard to get a group of people to do anything. Look how many people are here today. And they all came here to honor... The Fallen Soldiers of Gettysburg. This is beautiful. You guys did a great job here. Now everybody's going back to their respective lines. You know, they never really had ceremonies like this necessarily during the war, but they certainly did come together in fields and uh, trade tobacco and things like that. Especially when it came down to uh, picking up wounded off the field, they would call a ceasefire and come out. Doing huzzahs and rebel yells. <laughs> so, gentlemen, that was the, that was the ceremonial part. As we said, one more to fight in this skirmish battle. And therefore, we will now restart the server. If you guys want to make a password, make, make a password free. Or do you want to keep the password? Oh, they're gonna they're gonna volley into each other. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> oh, man. Captain is just 
unloading his gun. Look, the flag bearers just ran for it. <laughs> oh, we still got a Yankee out here. Got a private. He's chasing you. <clears throat> oh, he doesn't see the one behind him. He wants that captain. Oh! Well, that was something else right there. All right, so I'm going to stop this stream now, and we'll come back in for the uh, the other ceremony. Thank you.